This is what we're talking about today, the flash from Velocity. So this is what will be reading um, the computer in my car. So let's take a look at how this comes. So when you order it, um, they ask for all your information. So this one's actually assigned to me with my VIN number. So let's see, it's sealed. So break that seal and see what's in the box. So we have, looks like the reader itself. Uh, here, uh, it looks like a cable, ODB cable, a USB cable. Have the instructions. So let's take a look here. It says to um, download the installer, do some setup. This looks like I'm gonna need to grab my um, laptop. So let me get the laptop in here and let's uh, walk through all these steps. Okay, got the computer set up. And so the uh, instructions say to go to this tiny URL flasher. So I'm going to go ahead and go to that URL right here. And up comes this uh, file. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. Download. Okay. And this here is giving me a warning. I'm gonna say keep this and show more. Keep anyway. And it saved it. Okay, so this should be on the desktop, which it is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and the instructions say to uh, plug the V flash in. So we're gonna grab the cable. Um, DSB, USB-A, and plug it into the bottom of the unit. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. And then we're we'll gonna go ahead and plug the other end in to the laptop. And the unit is um, coming up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and double click the Set up. Say yes. And let's see what it says here. Go ahead and install the software. Focus. and settings. We're on the client now. I'm going to just say finish. See what comes up. All right. So I'm getting this SP communication activated. All right. So now so this has to be doing an update. So I'm going to say yes. Accept. And have it go through this process. Thank you. 
updates complete. So now we have the flash client icon on the desktop. Let's go ahead and double click that. what we get. So the next step is going to be uh, on here is to go ahead and hook it up to the car. So let's uh, take all this into the car and get a reading. Okay so got the battery tender all ready to go and this is where we hook up the positive. We'll go onto this side right here. Pop that off. So we'll go ahead and hook up the ground right over here. Go ahead and hook up the positive right there and now it's connected so I know it's getting a charge so go ahead let's get in the car and we'll start getting our first reading so what it says to do is hey plug the flash cable into the vehicle turn the ignition to the off position so go ahead and device here. Go ahead and plug this in. So the ABD port is underneath your steering wheel just by the firewall here. This is the lever to open your hood so there's your ABD. So just go ahead and select work. Select the brand which is Jaguar and it's an F-Pace. Hit select engine switch on the dashboard check the connections and press ok so everything is on select ok starting communication so the directions here says this can take up to 25 minutes 35 minutes it's going to ask a bunch of questions and turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you what this is doing as we're doing it. Hopefully you can see this okay. So it says switch off the dashboard. Okay. Identifying the flash. Okay. And then we're going to hit reading. Okay, a little clarification. In the video, you hear me saying, do a full read. Okay. You don't need to do a full read. You need to do a partial read, which is the next item down. I didn't realize that. So when I was doing this video, instead of taking about 30 minutes, it took about two hours to do a backup because it backed up everything. They don't need everything. It'll certainly do it. You can certainly send it in. It's not going to hurt anything. It just takes a lot longer to go through everything. So when you do this, just select um, partial read. It'll get all the files it actually needs. It'll save you a bunch of time. However, if you're like I did and hit a full read, that's fine. It's just gonna take a lot longer. Uh, so don't worry about it. So we'll get back to the uh, video. Yeah, it's a long time. Say, okay.
so that's it now it's backed up so the next thing is to load it onto the laptop so copy it off of the device load it on the laptop and then we uh, upload it to velocity so they can go ahead and send one back so let's go on the next steps okay now that we got the we copied the default one we're going to upload it so go back to the instructions uh, log on to the computer here uh, it says use a USB cable plug this in the PC and which plugs in right into the bottom here like so then take the other end and plug it into the laptop so now this comes to life all right so now it says select button download from Viva let's see Open the B Flash PC program. Okay. Can I open that up? All right. Now it wants us to select button, download from B, B Flash. Hmm. There we go. Download from D Flash. Confirm the selection destination for the file to be saved. Okay. Connect your D Flash. Select destination. Confirm. So go ahead and go through here. Yes. Next. Download the original file for vFlash. Do you want to confirm this action? So I'm going to say, according to the instructions, just say confirm. And now, this is saying communication activated. So it's downloading everything. Automatically doing this on its own. Procedure complete, successful. So we can hit close to this. And now, if I open up that folder, there's the file right there. So this is the one I have to rename. And let me see what I have to rename it to. Okay, so here's the instructions. We're going to go ahead and rename the file. So it'll be um, the order number, your VIN, last name. Here's like an example. So I'm going to go ahead and rename mine. And after that, the next thing is, is we want to upload it. So I'm going to go and log into your account. And then after that, you're going to uh, upload the file. There's a form up there. You fill it out, some of the modifications, and you submit it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that ready and show what that looks like. Okay, I've renamed my file and logged on to the Velocity website in the upper uh, right hand corner, you see this is ECU file upload. You know, click that, and it'll up will come your window here. Now, um, since you when you purchased this, you had to give me your VIN number, so you're gonna go ahead and type in your VIN number right here. And there's my VIN number. I'm gonna say look up, it's gonna have all my information in here. So, what you're gonna do is then where it says drop the files here, I'm gonna just click on my file and drag it right there and now it's up there I'll fill out the rest of this information and here's like special requests if you want to add some different things tell them some of the modifications you're going to make then you make sure you tell me you're not a robot and then submit so now the file has been uploaded and here's the screen that you see it'll get back to us in one to two business days well as soon as I get it back we'll uh, do the next video and go from there